karibu tujifunze web technology and development kwa kutumia python programming language na streamlit library streamlit ni library ya python kwa ajili ya kufanya data science machine learning na data visualization tutatumia cross tabulation ambayo inafanya matrix tabula so nikiklik hapa expander hii hapo ni cross tabulation okay so nikiklik all student list hizi ni data of course ndogo ya database ya MySQL. So database ya MySQL ni hii hapa tutaitumia na hizi ni list ya students. So tumeja kwa display huku kwenye hii hapa uh, data frame. So hii ni data frame lakini ya juu ni nini? Ni cross tabular. Okay. So hii hapa ni just a searching box ambapo hapa una search particular student. Kwa for example nikiandika SA, nikiklik enter ina search ile keyword inaoandika kwa hiyo kwenye SA majina SA ni haya hapa inaanzia na herufi ya SA. Okay. So tuna na kutengeneza filter filter hii hapa. Of course hii ni sidebar multi selector. So nikija just kubonyeza hii niki exclude female. Unaona female amekuwa excluded kwenye uh, student list. So ningemweza student list iweze kukutana na gender female tena hapa unakutana na wote ni ni male. So unaona hapa wote ni male. So niki exclude male. So data frame yetu imekuwa ni empty hakuna data kabisa hapa ni empty kwa sababu tume exclude male okay so ni just ku click female utaona wamekuwa displayed okay so nikiklik na male na male wamekuwa displayed okay so hii hapa ni hizi ni columns ambazo zipo kwenye database for example sitaki kuwa na stream so niki cancel itaondolewa katika hiyo table okay na rank niki click itaondolewa na comment of course ina filter ina filter fulani so niki click inaondoa hizo uh, columns So hii ya juu ni cross tabulation. Hii ni list ya all students, okay? So hii ni downloading link. So niki hapa na download hii cross tabulation. Ni click press download. Ibe na download file la CSV. So niki click kuli open. Hai file CSV ni hili hapa. Mwone hii ndo hile cross tabulation. Hii hapa. Ime hii download, okay? Okay. So niki filter malaki staki nione a female for example. Hii cross tabulation itakuwa. Imefanyo filtering staki kuona form 6 na form na form 1 imefilter so niki press download na download ile ambayo nimefilter hapo so niki just open mbona sasa hivi imefilter data zimezidi kwa chache kwa sababu nilifilter pale okay so hii hapa ni uh, just a downloading link kwa ajili ya ku download all students okay so niki download uh, all students hapa kwa sababu niki select these columns okay so niki click hapa press to download unaona na download data frame ambayo imekuwa converted kwenye CSV So data zenye ndo hizi hapa. Okay? Ni chache kwa sababu hapa nilikuwa nimefilter. So niki just kuonyesha uh, form 6 na form 1 data zote na form 1 okay imeonyesha uh, students wote. So niki press to download. So now ime just ku download wanafunzi wote. Na unaona data zimekuwa hapa ni zimeongezeka, zimekuwa ni nyingi kidogo. Okay? So hivi ndivyo ambavyo unaweza kufuta. So nikichagua female maana ki data zimezidi kwa nyingi. Niki click press to download sasa hivi download entire uh, data frame so niki just kuonyesha hapa unaona sasa hivi zimeongezeka zaidi hiyo ni sehemu ya kufreight okay okay so tunaona pia namna ya ku uh, change background so now current background inaonekana hivi okay. so ni background is simple na click hapo unakuja kwenye settings then unakuja ku click edit active theme okay so hapa background sasa hivi ni so naweza nikachagua background white okay so niki click background unaona kule ni white so kwenye text hapa za kachagua text color ikawa ni hii hapo so niki click niki cancel hapo unaona so now sasa hivi rangi imefani imebadilika okay so nitaka ku change rangi ya side navigation just na click settings then na click kwenye edit active theme na kuja kubadilisha uh, rangi ya pembeni huku so for example naweka rangi hii hapo then text color then naweka tu black hii hapo okay na hizi linki just nazikia uh, color for example just color ni hii hapo okay So niki click na unaja kuona rangi fulani nini ime change. Okay? Okay, tutaona pia namna kutumia hii ni uh, bootstrap. Yaani kuna HTML na CSS ndani ya Python hapa hapa. So hizi zote ni kodi za Python, yani completely ni back end. So uh, uzuri wa Streamlit yenyewe ni back end completely. Ni kidogo anza kaeka uh, CSS bootstrap kama zinavyoonekana hapa hizi ni bootstrap. Okay? So tunaona pia namna kuweka material icons. So for example ni refresh. Okay, hizi ni material icons zinaonekana upande wa kushoto material icons na kadhalika. Okay. So database itatumia hii hapa ya MySQL. 
Lakini cha kuhakikisha kwamba umesha download Python kutoka katika source ambayo ni hii hapa. So nikiklik download sasa hapa nitaweza ku download hiyo Python nitaklik hapa download. Tutaona step by step namna ku download hiyo uh, Python. 